Hey guys, welcome back to another Anchor tutorial. Today's Anchor tutorial is going to be part number 18 in my uh, main Anchor tutorial series. It's been a while since I've done one of these main tutorials, so it should be fun. Um, uh, today we're going to be talking about the W background and background uh, Anchor routines, as well as the background set and W background set routines, which are a little different and kind of weird, but we'll be talking about those as well. Um, I actually had a viewer ask me about how to set the background on a window, and uh, I answered him in a comment, but I figured I haven't done a video on that yet, so I should uh, do that in my main series. So, if you guys haven't seen the rest of the tutorials, recommend going to check those out first, because um, we're going to be I'm going to be glossing over some stuff here that I talked about in previous tutorials, so if you want to check out the playlist, it should be up there in a card. Um, but yeah, otherwise, uh, if you guys like this video, consider giving me a thumbs up. If you want to see more videos like this, subscribe and turn on all notifications down below. If you have any questions, comments, again, leave those down below. Uh, if you want to support the channel a little bit extra, I've got a PayPal donate button in the description. Um, every little bit helps. Could do it without your guys' support. And uh, let's just get started. So. Um, right now I've only got two files open. I've got the make file, just a very basic make file. Um, you could also just run this at the command line, but I prefer to have a make file. It just makes things a little bit faster and easier to do. Um, <clears throat> then I've got a just a main.cpp file, and I've got a, just some starter code in here that I'll just uh, go over real quick. So we've got a, a header and curses.h that we're including. Um, you need that for all your end curses functions, or sorry, uh, uh, programs. Um, then we've got our main function. Uh, we're going to start out with a uh, init screen and refresh. I don't know why I left it clear in there. Just going to get rid of that. Um, then we're going to, uh, at the bottom here, we have a get charge to make sure our program doesn't exit out and an end win to end end curses. Um, then uh, here I'm going to make sure our terminal has color, uh, return one otherwise if it doesn't. And then we start color and I create two color pairs. Uh, if you guys don't know about end curses color stuff yet, uh, go check out my video on end curses color. I put a little card up above to that. Um, but yeah, that's all the setup we have today, um, and we can just get started. So uh, first off, we'll use the uh, background uh, routine here, which um, works on the standard screen. It sets the background for the standard screen, and it takes one parameter, which is, in my experience, it's either a character or um, a, a attribute. For some reason, the uh, documentation says it could be a char type, which should be a character and an attribute for some reason it doesn't always work for me. So we'll pass it a character like that to start out with, so just to demonstrate. And uh, so if we make and run that, so make and main, see it just filled the background with A's. So cool, that's not useful, but we but you can do it. <laughs> and uh, But something more useful would be to set the background color. So uh, we could say color pair uh, one, and that would give us a um, black foreground. So it, again, if you're not familiar with net pair, go check out my video. But this is a black black foreground and a red background. So we should see actually below this. I'm going to set uh, do a refresh, but we should see um, a uh, red background with nothing on it because we didn't add anything to it yet. But if we were to do an add char of a again, not very creative. Uh, and we were to run that again, you'd see that it, w it keeps the uh, attribute we set. So um, that A has a black foreground and it has a red background. So that's one, one cool feature is that the when you're setting the background, it maintains that for when you're going to add and edit that region as well. Um, so, but yeah, like I was saying, if you set A there and try that, for some reason it doesn't just set the background and the color pair. I don't, I don't know why. But that's just, it just doesn't want to do that. I think you, if you wanted to achieve that, you might be able to do something like call that and then call this. Let's see if that works. No, that, that doesn't work. So you, uh, I guess you're stuck doing one or the other in this case. So too bad. But anyways, that's how it works. It allows you to set the background for uh, a window. So again, without the W, it just sets it on the standard screen. With the W down below, it works the same pretty pretty much except for you pass it a window. So that means we actually have to make a window first. So I'll just create a window star win, new win, and I'll give it um, a height of 10, a width of 25, and we'll put it at position 10, 10. Um, so that's, again, for those who aren't familiar, uh, that's the height, that's the width, that's the starting row, and then the starting column of the window. 
So we're going to pass that to our w background function, our routine, whatever you want to call it. And then I'll give this one a color pair of two, which is um, white on blue. So if we um, make and run that, oh, I have to do a w refresh. Uh, w refresh win like that. Uh, so we'll make and run that and then there you go you see uh, we get the red background on the main and then we add the uh, blue background to uh, with this window which is then refreshed after so this is actually a cool thing this goes to show you how ref uh, ref refreshing order matters so um, oops. if I uh, were to refresh the uh, that window and then refresh the main window again we should still get the same exact result. So if I make and run again, you see we get the same exact result. Um, but if I never refreshed up here, um, you'll see we get an error. So you'll see that it refreshes the standard screen after it um, refreshes this window because git char calls refresh and it causes the standard screen to overwrite this window. So that's just an interesting uh, refresh quirk. If you guys haven't run into that before, they're fun. They're so fun running into refreshing quirks. Um, it's one of the biggest problems with anchors is one of the biggest uh, pains of anchors is though I love anchors is, but um, okay. So that's refresh and W refresh, or sorry, background and W background. One other cool thing that this allows you to do is say you set the background on a window and then you also want to set a border, but you want it to keep that attribute. So you can do a um, box zero zero on that and it'll uh, maintain the background parameters you set on it. So it gives it a white foreground and a blue background. So that's kind of neat. This is terrible color scheme, blue and red, sorry. Um, all right, so that's the uh, main ones out of the way. And then we're gonna talk quickly about background set and W background set. Um, I'm going to get rid of um, this stuff up here just and use um, these instead just to show you the difference between them. <clears throat> so background set, it's kind of like background except it doesn't like tell end curses that you need to refresh the screen, if that makes any sense. So if I do the same thing we did before where I do a color pair of one here and I uh, do a make and run, you'll notice we can't see anything. It seems like nothing happened. But then if I were to go and do add char um, like that, and we again make and run, you'll see that it did set the attributes, it just didn't refresh the screen. So if you were like wanted to set the future attributes for that window, you could do background set. It basically is just setting the attributes for the window, at least in my experience. Um, I don't know if that's how it's supposed to work or if that's just how it's working on my terminal, but um, it seems to, just set the attributes for the whole window and then not tell the window to, that it needs to refresh. So again, the same thing would apply for a W background set. So we could pass it a window and a color pair of two in this case. And actually up here, I'll just do a regular refresh. Make sure we don't run into any issues there. Uh, we'll do a W refresh. Um, oops, sorry, W refresh win. But yeah, so if we make and run this, you'll see again, we don't get a blue background on that window like we're expecting. But then if we were to go in here and do, I don't know, maybe if we do a clear, I'm interested to see what happens if we do a W clear. I think it'll just empty it out if we do a W clear. Um, oh yeah, so if you do a W clear, it basically what W clear does is it tells the window that it needs to refresh. Um, so, or it tells the window that it needs to redraw every single part or, you know, I guess cell within its within the window. So W clear basically tell it, oh, you got to re reset it. And then in the memory, it said the window says, oh, my attribute is set to color pair two. So um, I guess W background set plus W clear equals W background in this case, uh, more or less. But yeah, so that's how um, the W background set and regular background set uh, routines, methods, functions, whatever you want to call them, work. Um, I hope this video was informative. I um, hope you guys liked it. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Uh, if you want to see more videos like this right as they come out, consider subscribing, turn on all notifications. Um, question, comments, again, leave those down below. 
you want to support the channel a little extra, got that PayPal donate button. Um, if you want to uh, check out some of my other series, there's um, this Make and Snake and End Curses tutorial series I just wrapped up, which is kind of fun. If you want to learn how to make a game in End Curses, pretty, pretty neat. It's a, just a basic snake game, but it's a lot of fun. Um, hope you guys are having a great day, and I'll see you in the next tutorial.